and welcome to another redgamingtech.com first impressions review. If you pay attention at all to The Walking Dead, you might know that episode 3 is now officially released. And obviously to purchase the whole season, and that includes all the episodes already released, and ones that will be upcoming, that will cost you £12.59 at the moment because it's currently 40% off on Steam. But the full price is £20.99, so not exactly cheap. And as you probably know by now, this is published and developed by Telltale Games. You guys probably already know what the settings menu looks like now. It's basically the same as before, no changes have been made to any of that, it's all about the story. So now that we've got all the boring stuff out of the way, let us continue. I want episode 3, Long Road Ahead, <laughs> lovely grim image to start off with there, yes. This is um, a different save to the one that I'm currently playing on, so this is all going to be randomly generated uh, responses week, and choices, because obviously the characters that live and blah blah blah, all wounded. that happens I want to know why depends you on more to your choices. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you and stood up to Larry. Yeah, the so this is these aren't the choices I personally them. made. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those but yeah, raided my camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not cool story, dead. bro. Somebody help me! Come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Oh shit, son! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. So yeah, obviously it's going to contain a few spoilers for myself as I haven't actually played episode 2 yet all the way through and it will contain spoilers for anyone else who hasn't completed episode 2 all the way through. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm a bit surprised what Kenny did there in the previously, but hey ho. They're still a make it, really? Interesting. Why the hell are they back there? Looks like this is our lucky day. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Yeah, just but, you know, things are far too quiet. I've seen far too many zombie films to be trusting of this situation right now. I'm sorry to rain in your parade, but, you know, I'm a realist. What do you want from me? Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Maybe we split up then. So you mm. stay with Lily then? And Carly will stick with your ass because you saved her that one time. And I get who, Ben? That gangly shit for brains? <laughs> split up. <laughs> hey dude, it's just a suggestion. Chill out. Need to, you know... Relax. Okay. Take a chill like pill every now and again. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Okie dokie. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Man has a point, I suppose. Shit. Nice you one, okay? bro. The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. <laughs> No kidding. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. 
<laughs> There's no safe way through that mess. Hmm, that doesn't look particularly sturdy either, bro. Just saying. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. Hmm, indeed. Let's see what we've got. Anything over here? Oh. Hmm, that could work. That doesn't look particularly safe, but it could work. Kenny, come on. Yeah, help me out here, bro. Ah, shit. Help. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. What well, use are you then? Okay, well, he said already that I can't go that way, so. Push the jeep. Well, maybe. If I can get rid of all that shite in it, maybe. Mm. No. I can't do anything else with that. Okie dokie. Hmm. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. That. Look at debris. Huh. Uh, I don't see how I can get up there then. Hmm. So, no, I doubt that's going to help me any, but. At least want to see where his reaction is, because that was his parents' place. What about the plane or the helicopter or whatever that is? So much for the military. <laughs> hmm. There's no safe way through that mess. I'm honestly a bit puzzled, to be honest. Can't do that, because Kenny's useless. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Oh, hello. Look at Winch. Ah. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Yeah. Good. I'm oh, I was tempted to go for don't the first shoot. option, but I don't want to be sarcastic worried. with this guy She's because, you know, he's got a boat. And that's kind of what you want. A guy with a boat. Okie dokie. What else can I do now? Winch control. Control. Ah, okay. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? Mm. I hope not. Hoping ain't worth a day. Well, I don't know what else it would say, bro. I'm not psychic. Okay, okay, that was fairly Duck simple. Was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him. Sean dying and all. Mm. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. No, it was yours. Sorry, but it was. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Mm hmm. I don't know. You don't seem to be doing all that well to me. Ooh. Shit! Oh, see, look what you've done now. Fucking useless. Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. No, get off here. I'm sorry, you're calling me Dick after you what it did to me? This guy's got some balls. Help me! Oh, shit, son. Somebody help me! Oh, God! Oh, God! What the hell 
is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Ah! Uh, it's, a... it's a girl. We have to help. Doesn't matter, girl or not. Help her. To her. We gotta do something. Help her. We'll just help her. Oh, okay. No, she's done for. Out of this misery, know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Hmm. I find it. Yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah. God damn it. Surely they would all go to her anyway, because that's still me. Now look what you did. Let's move. Look what you did. Oh, this, this guy's pissing me off. If we didn't have a bow, we would be having some words, I'll tell you that. Anyway, that distraction will only last so long. We got in there just fine without any problems. What the hell's this guy bitching about, man? Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Let's Don't go. forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Yeah. Hello says supplies, like that's that's literally it. Oh, energy bar, it's not exactly a good meal or anything, but Okay, I've already done that one. Ah shit. Go go go! Ah shit son, things about to get hairy. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Jimmy! Ah! Q, 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 Q. Ah! Kenny, where the hell are you, man? Don't you don't you drop a brick on my head, bitch. Oh, this guy's gonna leave me. E, E! What is that? Fridge! Fridge you? Your fridge in the face. Now, let's fucking get out! Yeah, that thing's you. Oh, okay. Ah! Punch him! Punch him! If you didn't have a boat, I'd kill you. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, me and Kenny used to have some words. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. What do you expect her to do? So, what did you get? 
Just what was left. Maybe could have got more. Half of it's probably expired. It just wasn't a lot left. No, I don't really. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Mm. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. Yeah, we so can't stay here forever. Mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable and we're strongest together. So I said I trust you Kenny. Think I'm on her side. He's gonna kill that dog no for sides, this day. Damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No. Because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? We got all the protection we need. Mm. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough oh, noise man. that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. It was a mistake. Yeah. I bet your ass it was. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. I should punch you in the so face. Easy for him. Maybe, look, you know, you need to look at yourself because you're really stable. cold. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Hmm, things are not going well for these guys. Happy Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Yes, Kenny, thank you for murdering my father. This guy, man. Oh, things are coming to a head. No you kidding. Say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thank you. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her hmm. wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. She wants it. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. <laughs> yeah, she definitely wants it. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll give Lily a minute. I think she's been through enough stress for now. Let's talk to Clementine. What's she doing? Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember those. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. <laughs> oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Oh, thank you, Clementine. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. It would be a very nice thing to know, but I don't think we're going to know, to be honest with you, Clementine. Uh, I'll talk to you. Can I talk to you? Uh, hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. Mm. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? 
You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. <laughs> it's not exactly possible, to be honest. I'll talk to you later. Oh, no, that's actually not what I meant to do. Damn it. Hi, guys. Sorry. Um, that one. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I don't want to start a fight with them, so I'll leave the... God damn it. Uh, subject of Lily I'll alone for now. Later. Maybe later. I think I've got yelled at enough for now. People seem to enjoy shouting at Lee. He's a bit of a poor old fellow in that respect. Uh, Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hmm. He looks a bit okay. Hey Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Mm. Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. <laughs> well, you actually didn't until now. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... <laughs> what do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Yeah. Talk to you later, Ben. To be honest. Bye. I think she has every right to, if you ask me, after what Kenny did. <gasps> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay. I think I've given Lily enough time. So let's go talk to her. Then I'm going to hit it. <laughs> I'm really, really. Yeah, she's not doing well. I'm sorry. You but... don't have to apologize. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what I was about to say. To come here and give me hell or to coddle me. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing. And I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Uh, okay. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. How do you Little. know? It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. Hmm. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? <laughs> I want you to poke around. Very, very valid question, to be fair. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm... Okay, I'll put it It's at least worth bit. looking into. I think maybe she's Thank being you. a little bit paranoid, but that might be grounded in genuine a mystery. facts. Oh, hello. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Huh. Can I help? No. What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Oh, Your for, ward. Oh, for goodness sake. That's Robin. I know who it is. Um. As long as he just keeps his mouth closed. Don't tell anybody. I don't trust Secrecy. him. Secrecy. Yeah, good. So, what do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. Right, okay. Let's go. See what happens here. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, 
She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Yeah, she definitely wants to. <laughs> I think about you, too. Hmm. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> That's a bit of a rude thing to say. I'm a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. So why then? People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. I suppose she has a point. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. I suppose. She does have a point in a way. So you'll do it then? <sighs> sure. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Oh, how sweet. Don't call me small. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. <laughs> I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now it doesn't seem like one of them. Oh, it kind of seems like it does. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Hmm. Do you know anything That's about this flashlight? That's a very difficult decision, actually. It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? <laughs> Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Yeah, oh, Kenny is kind of like Good idea. Uh, overtaking, to be honest. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I should tell Kenny about me, I mean. I might tell Lily. Let's talk to him about the flashlight, though. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. No. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna... I don't suppose there's any point in talking to Clementine about it. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. I doubt you she didn't had anything to do with it. You accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. <sighs> uh, okay. Um. I wanna... Where was that glass? I thought it was over there. Or was it over here? I'm actually a bit confused now. I could have sworn it was... Oh, it's there. Okay, I just couldn't go around the way I was trying to go around. Here we go. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Yeah, that's definitely goes there, to be honest. X. Hmm. 
there's something drawn there. Congrats, bro. You can, you know, you have eyes. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Oh, for goodness Me. sake. I will actually what hit you. What do you think it is? I don't know. I don't think it's anything. I think you're derptastic. That's what I think. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. I was pink okay, chalk back weird. To investigating. Hmm. What I think I'll do is talk to Clementine and then wrap up this video because it's stretching on a little bit. I might do a let's play of it though because this is actually looking pretty good. I'd actually have to finish second part, but I don't think that would take very long. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. <clears throat> For goodness sake. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. Hmm. I was coming to see him for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> Sorry, that kid is so annoying. Oh, for alright, alright, alright. If it'll get you to leave me alone... Cool! That will, um, be good. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? You did, to be yeah, fair. Duck, you did. I <laughs> suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Right, what... Okie dokie. I think that'll be it for this particular video. As I said, I think I'm going to do a complete playthrough of this because I'm actually really enjoying it and... Well, it wasn't really a surprise I enjoyed episode 1 and what I've played it of, of episode 2. So I shouldn't be surprised, but yeah, I'm actually really liking this the storyline of this so far. Everything seems to be suitably going to hell. And if you were a bit unsure about The Walking Dead before now, hopefully this has assuaged your fears. It's very good, very story driven. A kind of point and click, but kind of not in the same and at the same time. If I could actually speak, that would be good. I'd say if you get it while it's on sale for all five episodes, you know, obviously you will get each episode as it's released, but if you, you, know, if you don't get it before they're out, you know, um, I'd say it's a pretty good price, to be honest. So you're going to get a lot of enjoyment and you can play it through multiple times and choose dis different decisions and see what happens. So I'd say that if you're all into story driven games, you need to have already checked this out, to be honest. Anyway guys, as always, I really hope you found this video entertaining and helpful and all that good stuff. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and check out our channel and of course our website over at redgamingtech.com and I'll see you again next time.